Hey, good morning there, my fellow Eagle Riders. Um, hey guys, this morning uh, I wanted to talk to you a little about my New Year's resolution. Um, I know there was a little bit of talk on our Facebook page yesterday about that. Um, just let you know, I'm not really big into New Year's resolutions. Um, listen, just so you know a little bit about me, uh, my, you know, like I really uh, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't swear, um, I don't take illicit drugs. Um, I'm the only wild woman I'm chasing is the one I happen to be married to. Um, every day I get up and get start my day on my knees, uh, you know, asking God to help me be a, a better man and to mold me and use me for his will and purpose. And every night I end, uh, my day on my knees, uh, give him thanks for my day. Um, so I'm pretty blessed in, in many ways. Um, so, uh, so it was, I had a bit of a challenge trying to come up with a, an idea of what, what my new year's resolution might look like. So, um, gave it a little thought last night, guys. And, um, you know, there was an area that I always feel like I'm not doing enough. And so I just want to share that with you. Um, I'm an abolitionist. Um, you probably don't understand what that means. But, uh, sorry guys, this is where it gets real. Um, there is a organization that, um, it's a charity that I'm involved with. Um, what they do, well, let me start from the beginning. Um, Tim Ballard was a uh, was a gentleman that worked for the CIA and Homeland Security, and he basically he investigated uh, child sex crimes uh, and also uh, human trafficking. Um, while Tim was uh, working in the government agency, he realized that uh, there were over two million children, and uh, I'm not talking you know like you see in the movies with these um, you know young teenage girls. Um, you know, children, like babies sometimes, you know, uh, being trafficked around the world um, in the sex slave industry. And unfortunately, as a, a representative of our U.S. government, there was really nothing he could do about it. I mean, he knew what was happening, but um, his hands were tied with all the red tape involved in, in that. So um, Tim started a, um, a private organization called Operation Underground Railroad Guys, and I, I'm going to ask you right now to uh, go and check them out, go, go online. Um, they do uh, some amazing work. Um, Tim started a private organization, and he went on to uh, hire um, some ex-military uh, special special forces guys. And uh, they go around the world, and they work with local governments and um, local law enforcement agencies, and they go in and rescue these children. It is all done through private funding. Um, there is they do an amazing work. Um, as a abolitionist, one of the things that uh, happen is every time there's a successful rescue, I get a text message on my phone. I can't tell you, you could be having the worst day ever if you get a text message saying that children, you know, five, six children have been rescued from some monster or somewhere in the world. Um, it will make a difference in your day, I promise you. Um, but uh, guys, I just wanted to, you know, say like, it is the one thing in my life I always feel like this, I want to do more. And again, I, I don't want to be a make it a downer for you. Um, again, it is something that's really close and personal to me. And um, I'm going to ask that you each um, check in with Operation Underground Railroad as the organization. You can become an abolitionist for $5 a month. You know, Abe Lincoln's face is on the $5 bill. And, of course, he was the man who set the, the, the slaves free. And, of course, it's so it's a bit of a symbolism there. Um, but uh, it's a great organization. They do a wonderful work. Um, you know, they're they're doing God's work, and uh, you can have a hand in that if you if you like. Um, I hope that uh, when you see what it is that they do, um, that you'll be moved to uh, to help as well. So again, that's uh, my New Year's resolution for this year. I, I want to do more to um, I want to do more to help make. Um, you know, people aware of Operation Underground Railroad and what they do. And, of course, I will help with the raising of funds to uh, help continue in their rescues. So, guys, uh, please, if you have any questions about Operation Underground Railroad, go, please go to their website. Um, there, all the information is there. You'd be, you'd be amazed at what these people do. Um, they work with uh, great organizations like the Elizabeth Smart Organization after these children are rescued to get them, uh, get them into a secure home, get them education, get them counseling, get them all that they need to um, you know, get on with their lives. Um, so, uh, again, I, but, uh, I don't hope this wasn't a downer for you, but it is something that's uh, close and personal to me. It is something that I will be striving to do more of this year. And like I said, um, part of my, uh, I guess my first step in making it aware to more people is to pitch it to you guys. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, but, uh, hopefully you'll, you'll, uh, take a look at it and, um, and, uh, you'll feel the way that I did and be motivated to try and do something about it. 
So guys, I uh, hope the rest of your day goes better, uh, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Bye.